again to meet you and all of you, my dear guests. The sun is shining, the moon is perfect, the day is great. What a beautiful life, isn't it? Of course, I can do whatever I want. I can create, I can have fun. I can talk to you and all of you too. I can and you can. But can everyone do what they like? Is everyone the master of their lives? Or is something manipulating them? Sad, but some people make the wrong choices in their lives. What are you speaking about? About the huge problems all around the world. Addictions. <laughs> Millions of teenagers are suffering from alcohol, tobacco, and uh, drugs addictions. A lot of them can't imagine their life without social media and computer games. Twenty teenagers from six different countries have gathered in this studio to discuss this very important problem. All together, we will try to summarize the problem, the situation in each of our countries. With us, we have two famous Italian journalists who will ask questions to our guests. Let's start our talk show and give the microphones to the first journalist. Good morning. Today, one of the increasing problems of our society is addiction. Statistics surveys confirm that the problem of addiction in Europe is widespread and unfortunately also among young people. In Italy, for example, 20% of young people between 10 and 17 have been using drugs and frequenting online gaming addresses. It was reported by an article in the newspaper La Stampa. The phenomenon is also widespread in many European countries. Here with us, drug representatives from Poland, Greece, Turkey, Bulgaria, Lithuania. I welcome to a Bulgaria student. Could you tell us how is the situation in your country? About 300,000 are the number of people taking drugs in Bulgaria. Of these over 120,000 people use synthetic drugs increasing their numbers. Drugs can now be made at home with a prescription from the internet. Drugs users reach their first dose usually when they are between 14 and 17 years old. Now it's the turn of Greece. Recent research shows that Greece is in the last place in terms of drug use compared to other European countries. Greek teenagers start experimenting with drugs at about the age of 15. The most popular among all the drugs is cannabis. Nowadays, the educational community is very concerned about the spread of a new kind of cannabis, the skunk. This is a new trend at all levels in secondary schools. Also, the use of skunk is a huge problem. Teachers and parents strive to keep students informed about the consequences of the use of drugs. Now it In Italy, the age of young student who has drugs has fallen. There are cases of 9 or 10 years old guys addicted. A lot of teens prefer to smoke up to 24 years, and 19 of them already, and 9 of them already using cannabis within a year. Drug addiction is spreading worldwide like an epidemic. The world has not yet come up with a way to crush this monster. Specialists say that every year, 215 and 300 people die from drugs in Lithuania. So the fight against drugs will not end up without help. To protect opiate users from overdose, Lithuania has started to implement an Alexone program for drugs users and their relatives from 2016 and it works now. The amount of teenagers smoking and drinking in Lithuania is slightly getting smaller every year since narcotics and other addictions get more spotlight now. Though it is still a huge problem. 35% of teens have never tried a cigarette in their life. 
7% smoke every day, 87% have tried alcohol at least once, 36% are addicted to it. In Poland, as in other countries, teenagers use drugs for different reasons. Firstly, they tend to follow what their peers do in Western Europe. They imitate what some celebrities do. Celebrities who they admire. Also, teens are getting more and more anxious and even depressed. And drugs help them deal with these emotions. Recently, I've read that young Poles under 18 are the youngest consumers of drugs in Europe. In, in, in four teens aged 15 to 16, has tried soft drugs like cannabis. This is really worrying. The use of drugs in Turkey is increasing according to the survey conducted in 2019. This increase has accelerated in the 10 years. According to the results of different surveys carried out in Turkey, cannabis is the most widely used drugs in the community. The use of drugs, cannabis and other substances Substance is higher in the young age group and in men. On the other hand, studies conducted among high school students in major cities as intervals of 10 years indicate that substance use tends to increase. Cannabis use, use is reported to be 4% ex-type, 2% amphetamine, 2% and other substance use 1% in the 15, 16 age range. <coughs> Thank you for your answers. And it was the first round on drugs. Now, let's go to our second subject, tobacco and alcohol. The situation with tobacco and alcohol is not better, but these are the main causes along with road cra car crashes. Let, now, let's see how it is in the various countries. Here is a Bulgarian student. Can you tell us how is the situation in your country, please? Bulgarian students between the ages of 11 and 15 taught several charts related to their health status, cigarette, drug and alcohol use. Bulgarian students rank first in with alcohol and cigarettes, use 30% of year old. Girls smoke at last once a week by this indicate. Bulgaria ranks second in the ranking which covers more than 40 countries in Europe as, uh, as well as USA and Canada. In Greece, there is no family feast with alcohol. It is part of a Greek culture, favorite culture. Favorite drinks are wine, beer, and chipuro, a traditional drink with alcohol. Although the law prohibits the sale of alcohol to teenagers, you will often see teenagers with a can of beer or alcohol beverage. Greek teenagers start to drink alcohol at the age of about 13 years. But although this very early, there is not an alcoholic problem in Greece. Nowadays, in Greece, the number of teen smokers aged 11 to 16 has dropped significantly compared to the same number 20 years ago. Probably this is due to the financial crisis in Greece, the increases in cigarette prices, and preservation programs for parents and teens. The electronic cigarette has many teenagers' funds. And health scientists worry this won't be a getaway to smoking. Passive smoking major problem in the country, and a very large percentage of Greeks support the strict application of anti smoking law in the country. In Italy, 20% of young people between 15 and 54 years of age consume alcohol frequently. 
16% smoke up to 24 years. Free night fashion is the way of life with the emulate bad company that makes them go in the bad path of addiction. The amount of teenagers smoking and drinking in Lithuania is slightly getting smaller every year since narcotics and other addictions get more spotlight now, though it is still a huge problem. 35% of teens have never tried a cigarette in their life, 7% smoke every day, 87% have tried alcohol at least once, 36% are addicted to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Poland, the law prohibits selling alcohol and cigarettes to children under 18, but they have an easy access anyway. The average age of initiation is 14 to 17. They usually start smoking around school and drink on weekend parties. Electronic cigarettes are now a real problem among Polish teenagers. They find it trendy. It's prohibited the sale of cigarettes and alcohol. The person under the age of 18 in Turkey. However, according to search cigarettes and alcohol, consumption is widespread among high school students. The rate of the students who have a smoke, smoke at least once in their lives was found to be 35% and, and the rate of those who were smoking almost every day. 20 pounds one person. These rates for alcohol use were 18.7 person and 1.8 person respect, respectively. This was the second round on tobacco and alcohol. And according to the answers, the situation in each of our countries is mostly the same. Almost all teenagers try to smoke or use alcohol in their lives and some are even addicted to it. Now it will be the third round on computer games. Now another question is referred to computer games. What's the situation of teens in your country? It is often the case that children who have not acquired a variety of skills try to compensate for their feelings of inferiority and insecurity by being addicted to computer games and social networks to avoid thinking about things they do not do. Uh, who tend to identify which their characters and copy patterns, the behavior in real life without realizing the consequences. Over time, these games also fuel in the lack of real friendships. Displays uh, all also uh, older daily activities and responsibilities and endanger the uh, child's social and parental relationships, coping and school uh, and uh, uh, can harm their health and sleep. The profile of the Bulgarian gamer shows that he is most often a man between the ages of 18 and 23. The age has been uh, feeling recently and addiction is also affecting younger students. The World Health Organization recognized addiction to video games as a mental disorder. The Greeks are the most addicted to the internet among the people of Europe after the British. The addiction with online gaming and special Fortnite is responsible for the drop in teenage school performance by 72%. When both genders play online games, boys are more at risk of becoming addicted to them. Nowadays, there are two large public hospitals in the country, one in Athens and one in Thessaloniki, that provide assistance to children up to 18 years addicted to video games. In Italy, a very big problem is addiction on computer games. But what worries the most in the online game community is a loss of sense of reality, the development of the social systems and the social wide world. There are different signs of addiction from virtual world and samples of the other way.
research shows that the addiction to computer games mostly have teenagers. In this period of time, teenagers are in the process of psychological separation from their parents. They want to be independent, so the internet is the perfect place for them to feel self-dependent for making decisions. Computer games became a means of compensating for emotional dissatisfaction and an opportunity to escape from a stressful situation. Computer addictions are treated just like alcohol and drug addictions. In Poland, video games addiction is called a mental illness. An addict feels being more important than basic needs daily activities. The number of addicted girls and boys playing is similar. Only 10% more boys than girls are addicted. Social phobia is one of the consequences of this addiction. Ten point five percent of young people addicted to co computers in Turkey. In some cases, serious clashes may occur between families and their children. The ratio of children playing between the age of six to fifteen is seventy nine percent. It is seen that children who develop addiction or take tendency to addiction have a sensitive lack of self-confidence and they are bored quickly to avoid some problems such as family. Friends and school is seen that children turn to computer games. This situation with the addiction to computer games is very serious as well. Addiction to the internet is very common. The addiction is increasing fast. Most of the teens have this addiction because they feel lonely and want to escape from their problems. This was the third round on computer games. Now let's move on to our fourth subject, social media. Thank you. Now let's talk about social medias. Could you tell us how the situation in your country, please? Oh, the social network of a unique opportunity. Interpersonal personal communication and self-expression. This gap psychologically cause the risk associated with grace and and night who are increasing use of social network for social comparison more and desperation separation more and more young users are showing increase for inter studies have show that offers of smartphone leads to poor health of adolescent to number for suicide and depression in the young increase. Today more and more teenagers around the world are dealing with social media. In particular, Facebook in Greece is the most frequently used with 90%, while in the rest of Europe the average is 74%. Teenagers in Greece have been devoting much of their time to social networking, and many cases of bullying have been reported. However, the problem in Greece is not so big when we are talking about children under the age of 12. In Greece, as in France, Italy and Spain, almost half of the parents do not allow children to have accounts on social media platforms. In contrast, children in Northern European countries such as Lithuania, Estonia, the Netherlands and Denmark have fewer restrictions and higher numbers of children with, children with an account. What is most important is that we all must take our own responsibilities. Not only parents, but companies also need to make stricter control to limit use to students under the age of 13. We too, the children, must understand the dangers don't be influenced by what our peers ever do. Social networking is a daily routine for teens. 
The most popular social networks among Lithuanian teenagers 15 19 years are Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. It's forbidden to create a Facebook account if you are not 13 years old, but in spite of this, Lithuanian teenagers hide their real age and create a Facebook profile. Through active social networking, teens face bullying and other unpleasant experiences. The most important thing in such cases is not to keep silent and report for the elders. We have the organization Children's Line, which helps teenagers to solve their problems in social networks. In Poland, we call this a formal syndrome, fear of missing out. More than 4 million of teenagers have this syndrome. They have a fear of being disconnected with the internet and social media. FOMO syndrome is more observed among teenagers with low self-esteem. Without social media, they feel useless. Seventy-two percent of Turkey's population of internet users. Sixty-three percent of our population is active social media users. As a result of some research, it is found that there is a positive correlation between social media dependence and depression. The ones who have severe depression symptoms have higher social media addiction scores than those with normal mild depressions. Depression duration and frequency of using social media are defended as the determinants of social media dependence. In addition, the level of dependency increases in parallel with the level of education. Those who, those who use the internet more than five hours a day were detected to be in conflict and are a social problem. We have just had a situation in each country. The problem of addictions is more or less common throughout Europe. Do you know, Benas, what I understood today? That everyone is responsible for their lives. It's very important to make the right decision and solve, solve problems immediately when they come to. I absolutely agree with you, Milda. Let's be tolerant and kind to each other. That's all for today. Take care of yourself and the people you love.